we'll take your questions. start for Bradley Bremer today. Um, just, I guess, what did you see him from him on the mound, and what did the Illinois hitters do to kind of you know, keep you guys behind throughout, throughout, throughout the afternoon? Well, the big thing they do is they don't give any at-bats away. They don't put the ball the so they don't strike out. Hit the ball the other way with two strikes, and when you put enough balls in play, you, know, it's, it's, you have to be able to defend. And so you know, maybe maybe Brad wasn't as, as sharp as he has been, um, but we also had plenty of opportunities to make play. On the defensive side, you just can't do that against a really good team. Against a team that just uh, they're going to put the ball in play consistently, they're going to chop it, they can all run, they can get down the line. So, um, you know, he, he didn't execute as well as he has, but, but we didn't help him a lot either with the defense. Yeah, you had a chance to see um, a couple guys that maybe don't get in the lineup as much. Um, as usual, like go forth and a couple of nice hits today. Just what did you see from some of those guys that you brought in um, later in the game? Well, those guys are they're all talented players, they're, they're, they're all very good. And, and those guys just continue to compete. We talked about it a ton. It's a tough group. It's a competitive group. Uh, you know, and, and you know, I, I, I told the group too is hey, nobody ever gives in a bad way, right? Nobody ever gives in a bad way. Let's make sure that our that, that we're locking where we need to be at on the defensive side of the ball to make sure that we don't give a pitch away on the defensive side either, or on the bases. You know, had a, a, a base running miscue or two as well. So, you know, we, nobody gives in a bad way. We shouldn't give an opportunity away on the defensive side on the bases either. Uh, but yeah, those, those guys did a good job. You know, Kid came in, hit a ball hard, and they haven't had three hits. Uh, you know, Key came in, had a couple hits. So those guys, again, yeah, it's, a, it's a talented offensive group up and down the lineup, which makes it hard sometimes to, to, to make the lineup. But I was really happy to see those guys get in there and, and have success and compete because they worked their tail off and deserve the opportunity to get in there as well. Um, you, yesterday, you did pretty well against Kirschbeier, or whatever his name is, who's been really good today. You struggled against the starter a little more. You came on late. Why do you think your team had kind of opposite fortunes against the two guys compared to maybe some other teams in terms of how you hit them, even though you came on late today? Yeah, I would say primarily because the line drives we hit, they called them. And so that makes it a little harder to have a big inning when your first like, four outs are, are line drive out. So. You know, they made a couple of really nice plays, and it's hard to have a big inning when, when the guys are, are, are hitting balls hard and they get caught. And, and then that guy did a good job. He executed pitches when he had to, um, and, and we weren't able to break through and have, have a big inning. But, you know, we, we hit balls hard. You know, I think, you know, the first two outs are line drive outs. Josh Pine hits one, you know, off the, we've been off the, off the middle of the wall, and the guy catches it. And, and those are just, that's just kind of the way it goes sometimes. Uh, especially when a guy's you know 92, 94, the break of landing a breaking ball early, so just got to get back out after it and and, uh, and and go attack early and and be aggressive. I didn't have a problem with our, our offensive game plan or approach or our competitiveness. Uh, the, the issue with the position guys today was I just didn't think that we took care of the ball the way that we normally do. Um, and offensively, it comes and it goes a little bit. You know, if you, you 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 look at it and you continue to compete, whether you score you know four or five in the first two or four or five in the last two. As long as you keep coming in waves, you normally you'll break through as, as, as talented as we are. So uh, I, I didn't see us having necessarily poor bats or poor approaches as much as and sometimes they catch them and sometimes they don't find holes. And, and that's kind of that's kind of the way it goes sometimes. So we just got to make sure that we're ready to go on both sides of the ball and then not just offensively. Coach, you've had a lot of changes in the lineup. One guy's moved off a lot. It's Carter Madison, the guy you started with that big home run. What have you seen from him, especially as a freshman lately, that has allowed him to move up in the order? Well, he's 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 obviously a really physical kid, but he's a kid that can have an at bat, and he always he gets deep in the counts. He's going to get himself into a leverage count. You know, he fouled he fouled two two one fastball straight back to the other pitch he normally thumps, and so he he doesn't expand, doesn't chase, gets in good counts, and he's very and he's very gifted, very talented. So when you when you're a talented player, hits the ball really hard, and and you have a good eye, and you get into a good count consistently, it, it gives you confidence to put him in the middle of the order. It's the same thing Josh Pine has done as, as well. As those guys, they're, they're talented, they're physical, they have a good eye, they get into good counts. And when they do, they, they normally put the ball and play hard. And that, that's kind of the basic recipe for, for any offensive player success, young or old. But yeah, Carter is a, a tremendous player. You've had a couple games like this this season where the next day you've been able to bounce back and play much better. What's kind of the key mentally for keeping the guys talking? Well, whether, whether the score is 18 to 10 or 1 to nothing, it's one game. And so the reality is we're position to win the series tomorrow, which is what you come into these uh, into these weekends planning to do, right? Let's go find a way to win the series, especially against a really good team. So that's it. That is what it is for us. We're, we're, in, a, we're in a good position on the mound, and you get a, a lot of those. You got you got Bothell and Tucker and Hayden, and, and you got Sharp back, and you got Holyfield back. So we're in a position on the mound tomorrow 
to be able to go out and be really competitive. And then offensively, you know, we've shown the propensity to be able to recover and play out the bats, just like we did the, the, the last couple innings there. You know, it's been very easy to give those away. Um, so you, you carry a lot of confidence into that tomorrow, knowing that you could swing the bat well. You just need to, need to take care of the ball. Uh, be, you got to play with some anticipation defensively. Um, and some of those are youthful mistakes as well, right? Just kind of getting caught in between, haven't been there before, and that happens. But, you know, th I, I think the big thing is the attitude and the competitiveness it always carries through. And it's carried through for us, you know, uh, you know many, many times before. And I'm, I'm confident that it'll carry through for us tomorrow and we'll be able to respond and, and make it a good ball game. You know, win, lose, or draw, you go out and you compete and make it a good ball game. Was it more of control issues or Illinois hitting really good pitches today? Uh, they, they, they hit really well. I mean, they, they just, they control the bat. You know, they're, 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 there's not any big holes, right? So, you know, you go into a lineup and you're, you're trying to figure out how to, how to get to a swing and miss, how to get to a weak contact. And they, they don't have big moves. They don't overswing. They don't expand down. They don't expand up. And, and they're not afraid to hit the ball the other way with two strikes. It's just a lot of guys that have you know, five, 500 at bats in their college career. And those guys are those guys don't get themselves out. So, you know, there were several two strike off speed pitches that were hung, you know, center cut. And those get hit hard, right? You, you can't you can't uh, you can't baby those. You have to execute those pitches. And then there were several that, that they just did a really good job offensively. So probably not necessarily the walks, but, but executing pitches uh, into the zones and quadrants that we think we can get to to find weak contact or swing and miss. And, and not a lack of execution there is going to give you uh, a poor result. But then also they did a really good job of of being competitive on, on balls that you did execute. So uh, and, and again, you know that the ten run inning probably should be a, you know, maybe a three to five run inning. There's a couple of plays that, that we just didn't make them. You can't give those guys four or five, six outs. They're just they're going to run you off the field, which is what they did. Take two more. Four? It's four? With, what do you, for tomorrow, do you feel like you need to outscore them because you're giving so much compliment to their offense? Do you feel like you can win a low-scoring game tomorrow? Do you feel like you need to kind of outslug them kind of like a 10-8 type game or something? Or how do you take a win tomorrow because it's baseball? I mean, what do you feel you need to do tomorrow to get the victory? We need to outscore them tomorrow to get the victory. <laughs> uh, we know. We just you go play the game. It, it's you can't go into it with the mentality of we have to out hit them or out slug them or, or we're going to give up 10. I mean, the guys the, the guys are throwing tomorrow. You know, the last two midweeks have gone out and, th and thrown terrific. You know, those guys, Reese and, and Grant, threw really well on Friday. Uh, you know, Tucker's had, you know, Tucker was part of the no-hitter against them last year. And so those guys are those guys are terrific. They're going to go out and they're going to compete. And if they execute pitches, it could be a 3-2 game. And if we don't, it could be an 11-10 game. Uh, it really just comes down to your ability to go out and execute, take care of the ball, and, and, and just you know, kind of fight it out. So I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I, would, I would like us to, to, to go out and be as competitive as we can be. As long as we do that, I'll be fine with whatever the outcome is. Anything else for Coach? Awesome. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks.